ready for Kids Worship Junior. Hi guys, I'm Sydney. And my name is Kristen. And last weekend we learned about a man who was one of 12 sons. Do you guys remember what his name was? That's right, it's Joseph. And one very important thing about Joseph is he was known as a dreamer. And that means that Joseph got dreams from God about the future and he knew what other people's dreams meant. Joseph, he was good at pretty much everything that he did because God was with Joseph. And one of those things that he was really good at was being a helper for Potiphar. And so he was helping Potiphar at his house and he was so good at it that Potiphar's wife got jealous. Do you guys remember what Potiphar's wife did? That's right, Potiphar's wife sent Joseph to jail for something he didn't even do. That's so unfair. But did you know that even in jail, Joseph still did good? He helped every prisoner get food and water every day. So you're telling me that God can turn something bad like jail into something good? Funny you should say that because that's actually the heart of the lesson today. And I think we should say it. So I'm going to say it and I think you should repeat after me. Yeah, that way we can remember it for the story today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so God, God can turn, can turn bad, bad into good, into good. I think we need to say it all together. All right. God can turn bad into good. You know, that sounds really good when we say it, but it's kind of hard to believe that God could turn something as bad as jail into something good. Yeah, but I think if we keep listening to Joseph's story, we can see how God turns bad into good. So let's cut to it. Hi, my name's Joseph, and my life, it's a little crazy. Just a little? Okay, maybe a little more. But I was just in Potiphar's house doing my thing when his wife started making up all these crazy lies and got me sent to jail. No way, you've got to be kidding me. Part of me wishes I was kidding, but here I am in my jail cell, just doing what I can. So, when does this whole bad thing get good? Just wait a minute. Okay, it's been a minute. Oh, actually, here comes one of my friends. He used to be a cupbearer for Pharaoh. A cupbearer? What's that? It means he used to test the king's food to make sure it wasn't poisoned. That sounds like an important job. It is, but... He looks kind of sad today. Hmm, maybe you should ask him why he's so sad. Mr. Cupbearer, why are you so sad? Well, I had this crazy dream last night and no one can tell me what it means. Hmm, I think Joseph's really good at interpreting dreams. Maybe he'll know. Why don't you tell me the dream and maybe God will tell me what it means. Well, in my dream, there were three grapes and they fell into Pharaoh's lap. Hmm, great. I just love grapes. Maybe it means that in three days, you'll be released from prison and get to work for Pharaoh again. Three days later. Well, looks like Joseph was right after all. Hmm, now my only friend is gone, but I know that even when things are bad, God is still good. That's a good attitude, but I'm not quite sure I believe that yet. I'm still waiting for the good part. Two years later. Oh, I'm tired. It's a little past my bedtime. I think I'm going to go to bed. Nighty night, Pharaoh. Ooh, Pharaoh's dreaming. I wonder what he could be dreaming about. Let's think together. Put your finger on your head and think, think, think. Say it with me now. Think, think, think. Pharaoh, this is a dream. Look to the right, seven healthy cows. Look to the left. Oh no, here come seven sickly ones. Oh no, what are they doing? The sick cows are eating the healthy cows. Oh, that's unfortunate. But wait, the dream isn't over yet. Oh look, wheat, where did that come from? The ground, duh. They look nice and healthy and sprouted right up. But what's over there? More wheat. But this one looks nasty and all dried up. But what's it doing to the healthy wheat? It's swallowing it whole. Womp womp. Wakey wakey, Pharaoh. 
Holy cow. Oh my wheat. I need someone to tell me right now what this whole cow wheat dream means. I knew this man in prison and he told me what my dream meant and it came true. His name is Joseph. I need you to bring him to me right this instant. Let's go. Mr. Farrow, Mr. Farrow, you called for me? Yes, indeed I did. I had just the weirdest, craziest, most bizarre dream last night. Okay, um, maybe you can tell me what it means and God will tell me what he's trying to tell you. So, well, you see, there were these seven cows in my dream and they were like healthy and they were good cows and they were just sitting there and then all of a sudden out of nowhere came these like seven skinny, unhealthy, just ugly cows and they just ran and stomped in, straight into my dream and you'll never guess, they ate the healthy cows. Is that all? Oh, just wait until he hears about the wheat. Ugh, the wheat. There was like this wheat that just popped up out of the ground and then it was healthy and it was good and then all of a sudden there was this wheat that was dried up and old and gross and it destroyed everything and then there was nothing on the ground. There were no plants or anything. Two times the destruction in one dream. God is clearly speaking here. I think God is really trying to speak to you. And I think he's trying to tell you that Egypt is going to have seven really, really good years. And then that's amazing. Seven really, really bad years. Oh, no. So what are we going to do about that? What can we do? I think we can make a plan and make sure that even during the bad years, we're still good. So what's the plan? Okay, so every day during the good years, we're going to save our food. And then during the bad years, we'll still have food. You know, that sounds like a good idea, but it sounds like a really big job. And I don't think I can do that on my own. So would you like to be my second in command? <laughs> that sounds like a really good idea. I think I can stick to the plan. Here you go. Okay, I just knew it was going to get good at the end. I was the one who said that. Okay, doesn't matter who said it, but that's just proof that God can turn something bad into something good. Yeah. You're right. He went from being a slave and a prisoner. That's the bad part. To being the second most powerful ruler in all of Egypt. Yeah, that's the good part. But now he has to save all of Egypt. You know, I really think that he can do it. He clearly has God on his side. Yeah. I think we should check back in next week to see what happens to Joseph. Sounds good.